we are fixing the borders of Africa. I don't think you ever expect this series to come back. I was going to continue it, but... I don't know. It's the only series I made and never actually made a second video for. And... It, I'm going to be honest, guys. I don't exactly have ideas anymore. <laughs> sure, like, I have a lot of series, sis, but... I don't know. So, let's just begin. So, uh, the boys of Africa, uh are well known for being messed up. Such as, like, some of the borders between, like, I don't know, example, this, Ang this Angolan X, X cave. Why isn't it part of the DRC or Republic of the Congo? It's because of Europe and some, I guess, other countries. Although the main people who are responsible for most of these borders are the British and the French. They were responsible for most of these borders, and most likely all of them. To be honest, Italy, Italy, Belgium, Sw Spain and Portugal, they really didn't have any of these borders. The British and French had so many, had so much land conquered, <clears throat> that when they released it, they just drew some random lines, didn't think about religion, chucked it on a map. This is the map we got. So today we're fixing those borders. And we're going to begin up in Northern Africa and go all the way down to the Southern Africa. So, begin off up here in Northern Africa. I feel like these are the countries that we well, actually fought about a little bit. So, uh, first off, Western Sahara, it's part of Morocco. I don't give a crap, no matter how much you, like, if you think it's independent, that's your opinion. I don't have any against, I don't have anything against it. But, it's a desert. I'm not saying, like, you can recognize it. I don't I don't give a crap if you recognize a piece of desert. But I don't recognize it. And Morocco's borders look way nicer like this. A lot of people can say they don't recognize Chad or Niger. They're real countries, so as you said, you don't recognize them. What the hell? Uh, for most part, Algeria, Libya, Egypt are all fine. But Tunisia, I've always just seen as, like, a speck on a map. You have these massive countries up here, and you just have... Tunisia. I don't know, even know why it wasn't part of Algeria in the first place. So I'm going to give them a bit more land so they can pop out more. And the reason I'm doing this is because why don't they have more land? Why did Algeria get most of the land? So first off, they're going to be taking a little bit from Algeria. I don't think Algeria will have any... I don't think Algeria would mind giving up some land to Tunisia. And then, uh... And then next up is Libya, who was part of Italy, but I guess we could say from World War II, they got a little bit of land from Italy. I think this also has Tripoli in it, so uh, they would have Tripoli, so win-win. I feel like that makes Tunisia sound a lot more, doesn't it? Not really. Nigeria is fine, I don't want to mess around with them, but I'm going to unite Burkina Faso, Mali, Niger, and Mauritania, just because... They look so similar, like, maybe not so much for King of Faso and any other country, but they look so similar. I think you can agree with Mali and Niger, but maybe not Mauritania. And anyway, my, these three, Niger, Mali and Burkina Faso, are pretty close anyway. They all have that government thing where, I forgot, but the Ni Niger actually had that type of government and almost had a, <laughs> it almost, it, I think it's still going on right now. Although, I don't know why, I don't honestly know why Mali think, I don't know why Mali and Niger, Burkina, Burkina Faso think they can fight one of the strongest countries in Africa. Anyway, that looks a lot better, doesn't it? Oh, that looks way better. I mean, it sounded like, like the olden days where there was a lot of colonizing, but no, it just doesn't really look like it. Next up, what the hell is going on down here? You have like so many independent countries. This is the worst area of Africa. This is some of the poorest countries. Why have you got so many little countries? Because it doesn't make any sense. Africa's got a lot of big countries. I'm going to immediately unite Benin and Togo. Because why not? They should be united together. Ghana and Ivory Coast, mm, they're fine. Guinea and Sierra Leone, I'm going to leave Liberia. These two are being made together into one. 
And then finally, Gambia is being part of Senegal. And then also Guinea-Bissau. Because these guys... I mean, Gambia should be part of Senegal. It's just a river. Guinea-Bissau, maybe not, but it is. For these islands, I don't really give a crap enough to care about them. They stay independent, I guess. Next up, we're going to unite the South African Federation. This is mostly just because... I want to, and it's not, it doesn't make any sense why it's not happened. Now, I'm not actually going to be uniting all of them together. I'm only going to be uniting the main, like, the original group before the other two joint. Because South Sudan and DRC have a long way to go if they want to join, if they want to become part of this. And honestly, I, in my opinion, I, don't, I do think that these guys will unite first before they actually elect South Sudan and the DRC join. I think the DRC and South Sudan will get support from the South African Federation to fix their governments and then they'll join. So honestly, these guys over here, they are ready to unite together. These guys, not so much. These guys have been talking about it forever, but then South Sudan got independence two years later. Hey guys, can we join? DRC, 2020, let's join. South Africa, you already know what's coming. I feel like everyone would do this. Get rid of these dots. What it, what was the need, British? What was the need to make some dots on a map? There's no need. That looks so much better, doesn't it? It's you'll get used to it eventually. It's kind of weird when it's you know South Africa's not got those two little dots inside of them. Chad is gonna say Chad because honestly, Chad's borders are actually quite nice. Ethiopia is gonna say the same for most of the part. Except from the fact that I'm giving them Djibouti. Again, it's it's that situation where it's a small country and Ethiopia needs the access to the coast. Somalia? Yeah, I don't know. Djibouti will be part of Ethiopia and Eritrea I was thinking about. But they have some issues so I don't know how that would exactly work. So I'm leaving them independent. Sudan and South Sudan... Whatever, forget the fact that these two were separated because of issues between each other. Everyone should just be united together. I don't understand why they're not. It's because of our governments and also different groups of mean people. But just just look at that. Doesn't look way, way better. These three down here. Equatorial Guinea is one of my favourite countries in the world, but... Top ten. Yeah, a bit weird. But... They should all... I, I really just see these three as, like, they're crushed between two massive countries. They're sandwiched. Like, all three of them. If the DRC and Cameroon ever decide they want to go expansionist, these three are completely screwed. Nah, I'll be Cameroon mostly, because I feel like DRC would go after... Actually, no. Uh, and also, I already talked about it, but the DRC is getting hold of this exclave. Look at their coast. They deserve it. And also, Angola, you are, what, to me, you are one of the strongest countries in Africa, so why do you need this much land? I'm not giving Luanda to the DRC, but I'm giving up, I'm, I want you, I want, I'm going to make Angola give up some of their coast, just so DRC has some coast at least. That looks ugly, but deal with it. If it was the borders like that in real life, we'll be used to it. Now, maybe it uh, has this really odd panhandle, and I honestly... Th th ugh, like, why? And there really isn't a good country I can think of to give it to, other than Botswana, because, being honest, Botswana, I feel like... They, they wouldn't even look different with this panhandle. So, uh, giving up to Botswana, uh, they don't even look a bit different. And now, uh, maybe it doesn't even look different. It's not even that big of a change. Zim Zimbabwe. <laughs> if you don't know what that is, go watch all day if you just what I always call it Zimbabwe. Malawi, I'm gonna split between Zam Zambia and and Mozambique. And my reason is they are a tiny like you have all these massive countries again. You have all these massive countries and then you just have Malawi. And I know there's a reason for it. Just 
this is a British and French fault. This is the reason Africa has the, so many countries in it. Because the French and British didn't give a crap about what these borders were like. And some of them were good. I can agree with, like, Egypt. Because Egypt got independence. And honestly, look at that country. It's, it's suitable to be alive. Same with Algeria. Same with Morocco. Same with Nigeria. Same with South Africa. But other countries... This is the reason there's so many, like, formidable unions in Africa. It's because so many countries are unstable. The last thing I want to do is kind of a little swap around with Cameroon and Nigeria. It's because, to me, Cameroon... Like, you have Cameroon. They go down pretty straight throughout here... But then they just have this weird bulge. And this actually was owned by Nigeria. Ambazonia. But Ambazonia, I want to give it back to Nigeria. Just because I feel like the straight border of Nigeria looked a lot better than what it does there. Straight borders are, like... I, I guess straight borders can be confidential between law people, but whatever. But anyway, <laughs> but anyway, here's the final map. To me... It looks a lot better. I feel like the area I did the best with is over here. Because what the hell even was that mess over there? A lot of countries are actually well left in touch compared to, you know, the first episode of this series. I didn't really touch many other countries. Because, you know, I don't really have anything against borders in real life. It's just that there's some borders you can't fix unless you did it on a map. But anyway... That's it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.